giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Wakaku to the 144,000 rest of the elect out there, to you all. Anyway, I'm going to tell this uh, video. They completely changed the uh, salute at the, the IUIC based upon this newfound revelation that the Heavenly Father is really um, the Son. Hey, the, a precept just keep precepts just keep coming to my head. Uh, one just came to my head just a minute ago, um, and that's uh, Saint John chapter seventeen. If the Father is the Son and the Son is the Father, then how do you explain Saint John chapter seventeen, where the Lord because we don't know His name and we don't know Him, no man have never dealt with Him before. But let me let me go on to it. Let me go to the Kang, the Kang James, as Arya, High Priest Arya would say, which our High Priest Arya is is uh, you know he's he's gone in the, in the head. He didn't took took the bag too. So if the Most High don't have mercy on him, we'll see him on the other side. Anyway, so I hope the Most High take them dirty garments off of him, pursuant to you know what scripture I'm talking about. Anyway. Let's go to St. John, J-O-H, 17. And this is the Messiah, as they call him, the Christ, which is the Father and the Son at the same time. Okay, let me see. Uh, go right about... Okay, let me start. Uh, you really got to read the whole, the whole chapter. You really got to read the whole chapter, which I'm not going to do. Let me just start the first. The high priestly powers of word. Yeah, how shall I spoke uh, um, and lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said, Father. So this is the Father talking to the Father. Or the Father talking to the Son. Or the Son talking to the Father. Heavenly said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy, thy Son. <laughs> Glorify thy Son. He's talking to the Father, right? Which is the Son? That thy Son also may glorify thee. Glorify me, Father, your Son, that I, your Son, may glorify you, the Father. T two different entities there. And how it's given power over all flesh, uh, should eternal life. Blah, blah, blah. Who raised him for the, from the dead? The Father. Who raised Lazarus from the dead? The Son. Did he raise himself from the dead? I'm just going to pretend... I'm on the cross, I'm going to not breathe, and I'm going to make them think I'm dying, dead, but I'm really not dead, because I got to raise myself back up. Okay. You know, eunuch can do that as an inside joke. Anyway, uh, let me see here. I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Them which thou, the Father, have given me, for, for they are dying and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. 11 verse, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, which is the apostles. And, and, I, and I come to thee, Holy Father. So the Son went to the Holy Father. Keep through thine own name, which is Yahweh, those whom thou has given me, which is the Son, that they may be one as, as we are. Meaning we're in agreement. Doesn't mean that, that this apostle is going to be stuck together. You know, you ain't going to see 24 legs walking down the street. They're stuck together. Like Siamese twins, but there's 12 of them. No. No. That's talking about we're in agreement. The, 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 the son is in the agreement with the father. The father said, do this, that, and the third. He didn't want to die the way he died. He asked the father, is there any way? The father said, nope, you got to die that way. He said, no problem. 
whatever you, whatever you say. While I was with them in the world, in, this, in, the, in, in the physical realm, I kept them in thy name. If, if he was the father, he would say, I kept them in my name. He said, I kept them in thy name. Whose name? The father. <laughs> Those that thou giveth me. The father gave the apostle to the son. Jehoshaphat wasn't walking down the street. He just bumped into Peter and bumped in. No, they were all there to meet him. They were, they were, read uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1. Before, before um, thou was formeth in the belly. Remember, Andrew, the brother of Peter, followed Yahweh Shai before Peter did. But Peter, Peter came in after. But guess what? Who became the head? Peter. Because it was already in the spirit. That's David. So he didn't just bump into a guy. You want to be a disciple? But Christians believe that because a Christian is a fucking idiot. A fucking idiot. But the son I have kept and none of them is lost Let me see, give him, I'm sorry, let me come back over here. Keep them, keep them, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that, that, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Whose name? The Father's name, Yahweh. His name was Yahweh Shai. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition. Perdition means destruction. Who was, who was the son of posi position, in, position in this sense? Judas Iscariot. Is Judas Iscariot burning hell? No. Is Judas Iscariot going to burn in hell? No. Judas Iscariot is going to be a man in the kingdom. And he's going to be good. That the scripture might be fulfilled. And you can, like I said, you can read the whole chapter. A whole lot in this chapter. So now... Let me come over here. So I'm going to show you that they changed the whole prayer. For thy people that the name of Israel shall be forgotten. In the name of thy son, Christ the King, let the whole congregation say, Hallelujah! 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 In the name of thy son, Christ the King, we say, Amen. I'm sorry, let me come back. The canary mission and whoever... And we pray also, back. Heavenly Father, that you destroy that we may grow as the sand this is of the fair sea. Use, fair Those use. as well, the sisters that are pregnant, that are up the ten times more, all tech them. We also pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, for the sick of preaching your gospel to turn unto thee and glorify thee and be obedient as you have commanded us all from since the beginning of time. Awake on another Sabbath day and to be able to... Sabbath day, day. All right, Israel, let's rise and face Jerusalem. Men of Israel, blow trumpets. Trumpets down. Oh, Heavenly Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. We thank the old Heavenly Father for allowing us to awake on another Sabbath day and to be able to partake in thy glorious light. Today is not the Sabbath. Tonight is the Sabbath. Calling us out of the darkness, the filth that we thought was life and showing us the way in we must walk and how we must worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask that you forgive us for our sins and our transgressions that we have committed uh, knowingly and unknowingly. And we ask that you forgive our people for their sins that they have done as well. Show uh, show yourself to those that are looking for you. That are Hold up. You heard what he said? You forgive us for our sins and our transgressions. That he said, forgive us for our sins and our transgressions, knowingly and unknowingly, right? Consciously and unconsciously, right? So what does that mean, according to them, that they got the mark of the beast? So they get the mark of the beast every day because they sin and they, they do sin in all of its forms, whether it be religious or political, right? He just admitted, forgive us for our sins. So that means you took the, you took the, mic, the mark, the MOTB, and you're asking the Most High to forgive you. Then the next day, you're taking the MOTB again, and you're asking the Most High to forgive you. Now, what if you forget to ask the Most High to forgive you? And the, and the ships come. You're done. 
you're done. That we have committed uh, knowingly and unknowingly. And we ask that you forgive our people for the sins that they have done as well. Show ask for people, uh, ask you forgive us and the people of the sins for taking the mark of the beast. So they're telling this guy is telling you in that prayer that he takes the mark of the beast and that they all take the mark of the beast. And you got to ask the most how to forgive you every day because every day when you wake up, you're going to take that mark of the beast. That's what they're saying. I'm not putting words in their mouth. They're saying the mark of the beast is sin. He just said, forgive me and forgive me for my sins knowingly and unknowingly, consciously and subconsciously, and forgive those that sin. So they're taking the mark every day. So every day, the IUIC, they take the mark. Oh, uh, show yourself to those that are looking for you, that are searching. But then they'll go out on the streets and say, keep the laws. They'll say, don't keep, don't break the laws. Here they are breaking the laws. They ask the most, I forget to give them other, other, other laws that they've broken. For you, reveal yourself unto them that they may see the light as well and return unto thee and glorify thee and be obedient as you have commanded us all from since the beginning of time. And we ask, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you be with the prophets that are going throughout the four corners of the earth that are preaching your gospel to compel the lost sheep of the house of Israel to come in. Be with them. Didn't say go throughout the whole planet Earth. It says in Acts, uh, Acts chapter 1, that's the main priest that come to mind. Acts chapter 1, about the 6, six 7 verse, it said you shall speak in, in four places. Judea, uh, was it? Jerusalem, Judea, what was the other place? Uh, he didn't say Samaria, I can go to it. It was uh, Judea, Jerusalem, Judea, and there was another place, and, um, and to the uttermost part of the earth, meaning to the other side of the earth. The other side of the earth is America, because it's on the other side of the earth. It didn't say go throughout the whole world go everywhere on the planet go to the himalaya mountains and find israelites up there and teach them put it aside no it says go to the west this word's got to go to the west let me go ahead and bring that up i forget the third place was it samaria give me a second it was four places ultimately uh x one All right, it was Samaria. I was right. It was Samaria. Uh, so you had. It, said, it doesn't. It doesn't say go to all the, every corner of the earth and preach. It doesn't say that. It said, but ye show the sea power and go to the holy witness. Uh, witness unto me both in Jerusalem. That's a place. That's a pronoun, and in Judea. We know there was no J in the Hebrew. Uh, so that's Yerosh, Yer, Yeroshalam, uh, which is city of peace. Yahawadiah, which is another land for, where Judah dwelt. Uh, Yahweh, the, the tribe of Yahweh that dwelt. And in Samaria, because you had heathens over there. You had heathens that thinking that they were Israelites, and you had Israelites over there. And, and a fourth place unto the uttermost part of the earth. Unto the end to the other most part of the earth. It didn't say nothing about go everywhere on the planet. The him of the Fuji Mountain, because there's Jake's up there. The Himalaya Mountains, go to the bottom of the sea. Uh go to uh Hong Kong. Go no, no. It said four places. The they were already teaching in these three places: Samaria, Judea, Jerusalem. Paul went further, right? He magnified his office. He went to uh, he went to um, uh, Asia Minor. The, 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 it was five journeys. It was three major ones, right? Corinth, uh, Ephesus, Colossus, and so forth. Macedon. Those Israelites are all up there, and a lot of them were being called Gentiles. Unto the uttermost, this is the fourth place, and to the uttermost part of the earth, which Revelation chapter six says 
that this is the fourth part of the earth, the fourth part of the world. The fourth part of the world, scholars will even say that the fourth part of the world, there was a book written and a map calling Amer the Americas the fourth part of the world or the fourth part of the earth. I did videos on that. So when it says the uttermost part of the earth, it's talking about over here in America. Over here in America. We don't got to go to Samaria no more in Ju uh, Judea because you got mixed people over there. You got them small hats over there, them heathens over there, trampling the land under their under they foot until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The, utter, the uttermost part of earth is America. America, not even Canada, not even South America, but America, because that's the place that's going to be destroyed. Because the ones that don't make and they live in other lands, uh, Israelites, we're going to introduce to them the, the, the Most High and Yahweh Shai. So now let me come back over here. and send all your mighty angels to protect them. We also pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, for the sick of our people that are scattered throughout the earth. Heal them, O oh, Heavenly Father, that they, that they may worship thee ten times more. All the they sick because they sin. They take the mark of the beast. The days of their life. We ask, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you bless those as well, the sisters that are pregnant, that are about to bring forth the princes and the princesses of the nation of Israel, that we may grow as the sand of the sea. We ask that you pour upon us the spirit of understanding and mercy and open our ears that we may hear thy word, thy glorious law, and apply it to our life, and that we may make ourselves ready for the second coming of our Messiah. And we pray also, oh Heavenly Father, that you destroy our enemies, the ADL, the Canary Mission, and whoever the hell else is in cahoots with them secretly that seek to destroy thy people that the name of Israel shall be forgotten. In the name of thy son, Christ the King, let the whole congregation say, Hallelujah! In the name of thy son, Christ the King. I wrote about the name of the son and the father. Or in the name of the father, also known as the son sometimes. Sometimes he's the father, sometimes he's the son. And then he says, Hallelujah. And the word Hallelujah is praise ye Yah, which is short for Yahweh. So they, know, they do know part of the name. So they just call the name of uh, Yah which is short for Yahweh. Are they talking about Yahweh Shai? Because they say Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you calling on them two times. You see the confusion in this? Hallelujah. 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 In the name of thy son, Christ the King, we say, Amen. In the name of thy son, Christ the King. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Shalom.